When we vote, we're not just choosing a leader, a lawmaker, a local councillor, or between two opposite policies. We're shaping the policies that have real impact in our lives, our health, and our environment. In a democracy, there are three key groups who should ensure that citizens receive accurate information. They are the media, the political parties, and the electoral regulators. The media is expected to provide reliable and verified news to voters. Free, independent, and pluralistic media need to be able to report elections without the threat of violence or intimidation. Through their investigations and fact-checking, professional journalism uncovers electoral wrongdoings and also verifies the claims of those who want our vote. Political parties who contest the chance to govern all need to play by the rules for a fair and free electoral competition as set out by laws and democratic norms. Electoral regulators should guarantee free, fair and periodical elections, including rules for media to provide fair and balanced coverage and rules for political parties' advertisements. They should also help ensure there is freedom of expression and association during elections. Nowadays, social media has enabled increased voter engagement and opened more direct channels of communication between candidates and citizens. It has allowed for more voices to be heard, including marginalized communities. At the same time, there are challenges, like the possibility to micro-target different voters with different, even contradictory, promises. Digital disinformation is produced to confuse, distract, discourage and mislead voters and disrupt the voting process, as well as to attack and discredit independent journalists. UNESCO is part of the global efforts to address these challenges by tackling the urgency for more transparency within social media platforms and encouraging them to adopt proactive policies to protect election integrity as well as prioritize professional journalistic content over algorithms that too often recommend harmful content and disinformation. There also needs to be transparency of all online advertisements paid for by political parties and of the budget's amount spent. Addressing privacy issues such as personal data harvesting, which can lead to micro-targeting of voters with different messages. Governments and legislators need to work with internet companies to keep equipping data protection laws. Supporting the work of independent fact-checkers that investigate the veracity of statements, speculations and rumours gaining attention on the internet during elections. Ensuring that journalists can report safely and freely on electoral processes. Threats against the press are often aggravated during elections, and yet this is a moment in time when journalists really need to bring information to the public without fear. Promoting media and information literacy for all, so, for example, that universities, schools, cities, media and internet companies help to educate citizens about the critical thinking skills needed to identify and flag content that seeks to manipulate or mislead them. Developing ethical pacts in political advertising, which political parties can adhere to and refrain from promoting disinformation campaigns during elections. When information is accurate, extensive and available, our elections remain free and fair, and democracy thrives.